welcome back to part two of my Q and A for July and August or whatever the hell. It's your girl Amber. It's your girl Amber. So let's jump into these questions. What advice would you give someone who feels insecure about pursuing someone who was in the public eye, was in the public eye? Number one, if you have some air insecurities about it, then that person might not be the one for you because if they were in the public eye, there's a big chance they will be in the public eye again. So you have to be very secure about that fact that they have eyes on them at all times. You also have to be secure about the fact that that person being in the public eye is going to get a lot of attention, whether it's like sexual attention or people praising them or looking up for them. They're gonna get a lot of attention. So if you have any insecurities at the beginning, that's a very small percentage of what there is going to be going forward if you pursue that person and being in a relationship with them. This question is deep. If you had to throw away your whole closet but you can keep one item to keep, what would it be and show us? If I'm throwing away my whole closet, it's all gotta go. Cause if I have to think about it all leaving, it's just gotta go. There is nothing that I would wanna keep in my closet but my artwork. If you guys wanna see it, I'll show you. I have a lot of pictures that you guys have painted of me or people have painted for me, and this is just an example right here. This is what I would keep, you know what I'm saying? I can replace clothes. I used to be so attached to my clothes, and now that I get older, I'm realizing what's really more important in life right now, and it's not really all these things, and that's why I have so many clothes, but I wear like a couple things over and over and over and over, and they get over and then kind of like move on. My mindset is a little bit different, so they, if, you, if you're gonna take them, take them all. Come on. <laughs> Favorite memory from college. I really enjoyed my one year that I spent at Texas Southern. I just think that being out in the yard and like seeing the different fraternities and sororities step and like the band was the bomb. They would play all the newest songs or whatever and they'd be at our games or whatever and to see like people show up and they kind of like turn our games into big parties or whatever. I think that that was like the best experience and the fact that our cafeteria had oxtails every Friday. Oh my God. Oh my God. To have like one of the bars, you know, like the different food bars inside the cafeteria, to have one of them give you soul food every day was, it blew my mind. I was so bomb. Oh my God, I miss Texas Southern so much. I wish my coach wasn't an asshole and I could have kept playing there. If your entire life was a movie, what title would best fit it? Damn, that's deep. Damn. It would be Becoming Me. I think that's what the title would be because since I was young, I realized that I liked girls. And as I got older, certain things happened to me that made me kind of hide that, that made me afraid of that. And it took me a long time to kind of get to that point where I was okay with sharing that with people. And then it took me a little bit more time to fit that into who I am and really become who I am. So I think that everything that you've seen here is a lifelong struggle of having insecurities about myself to loving myself fully and will fuck somebody up if they even try to come for me and let allowing everything that people say to kind of roll off i mean that was a, a long battle so i would have to say the movie would be called becoming me because to be where i am now was not an easy or short process at all have you ever had a friend with benefits did it work out did someone catch feelings in the end every time yes i've tried to have this situation a few times because there was a point in my life especially when I lived in Vegas that I wanted to be single. I wanted to have that single title because I had a lot going on and I didn't feel like I was fully like a person. I wasn't happy with where I was and therefore I didn't feel like I could fully share myself with somebody else. And because I wanted to be single, I had some friends with benefits situations. Every time that person wanted more, I'm not gonna say it was always just them because I've been in a situation where I might have wanted more, but it was only like once and it was a long time ago and it was an ex actually and it hurt me to hurt their feelings so ultimately I had to drop it because I didn't want to keep hurting them how do you deal with a guy that says he's in love with you but you know you're in love with the girl how do you turn him down so you don't hurt him look you hurt somebody more by not telling them the truth like straight up you gotta just be open and real with them I want to be open and honest with somebody right away and tell them my situation so that they don't think something else so just tell somebody up front and just be real about it are you a type of person that makes a to-do list and follows it on the daily basis I wish my life 
life can be that consistent. I wish that I could be that organized. Now, I am the type of person that is always writing something down and always has a checklist of things to do, but when they get done, I cannot fucking tell you how long that takes. How long that takes. There is a list of things that I write, of things that I want to hopefully get done, but the way my life is set up, really hard to just check off that list. So I wish I was but at this point I'm not. I'm a dark skinned Indian girl and I feel insecure about my skin color. How do I get over my insecurities about my skin color? Skin is obviously the number one kind of thing that stands out about us. I'm very light and I'm very light for being a mixed girl. Even my mom, who is German Irish Mexican, gets darker than me. So growing up, I kind of get made fun of. I used to always say I must be like a little bit albino. But at the end of the day, I love myself because yes, I'm pale, but I make fun of myself for being so pale or whatever. Your skin color being dark is a beautiful thing. Growing up, I always wanted darker skin color because my cousins or people around me or whatever. So it's crazy to think about that somebody feels insecure about their dark skin and I used to feel insecure about my light skin. We all have those insecurities. And it's literally so crazy to me that I read your question on my app and literally the next comment underneath that was, this app has some pretty ass brown skin women on here. That goes to show you right there. Like skin color and pigment and melanin is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful thing. And I really think that you should dig deep and notice all the beautiful things about yourself, especially your skin color, and be proud of that and be proud of who you are and be proud of your heritage. It's such a beautiful thing. It's such a beautiful thing. Anyways, I rambled on for so long. This Q&A was so long. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for the questions. I am going to be in Atlanta on the 26th and the 27th. On the 27th, I am hosting a LGBT film and music festival. I have the link down below if you guys want to get tickets to that. There's a bonus code because you know your girl's got to hook you guys up. I'm also coming to Houston soon. I will give you guys details as soon as I get more info about those dates. And on September 10th, I will be hosting the casino night for the LGBT center out here. So if any of you guys want to go definitely keep an eye out for that check it out it's gonna be a lot of lawn members so if you want to meet people mingle with people or even network or be a part of something bigger than yourself because all of these events that we do all the money goes to the LGBT Center and funding the homeless youth and the elderly that they take care of and things like that so definitely check out for that any more updates I will get, be letting you guys know on my app on Twitter on Instagram on snap on everything that I can anyways I love you guys so much I'll see you soon save Amazing. Peace.